Welcome to this week's edition of Taiwan Outlook. I'm your host, Chi Chen Lo. U.S.-Taiwan relations has been one of the most important bilateral relations of Taiwan's diplomacy. And over the past few years, there have been ups and downs in this bilateral relationship. So how about the future prospects of Taiwan's relation with the U.S. after the inauguration of President Ma? In today's program, we are very delighted and honored to invite a former ambassador to the United States, Dr. Joseph Wu, to come to our program to share with us his views. Dr. Wu, welcome to our program. Uh, wonderful to be here, and good to uh, see you again. You just came back from the States, mm -hmm. and, and could you tell us the, the current status of Taiwan between, uh, between Taiwan and the U.S.? Well, I, I think the uh, current relations between Taiwan and the United States is basically good. Uh, the reason why I say that is because there are so many aspects of Taiwan-U.S. relations, including a social, economic, and uh, cultural, and uh, security relations. Yeah. And basically, all these are very good. Mm -hmm. And you are right that uh, in the last eight years, there are ups and downs. And mm -hmm. basically, there are several factors mm -hmm. uh, to these uh, relations which are uh, being described mm -hmm. as uh, ups and downs. Mm -hmm. uh, the first is some of the uh, domestic policies or international uh, policies that Taiwan government has been pursuing. Yeah. Uh, of course, we uh, have to fulfill our own national interests. Yeah, and therefore, right. some of our policies may not in line with what the United States thinks that is in line with their national interests. Mm -hmm. And of course, China is pursuing some of their own policies, mm -hmm. which is may not all the time be in Taiwan's interest. And by the same token, the United States is also uh, pursuing its own national interest as facing all kinds of different situations. Mm -hmm. And therefore, uh, as you can see uh, quite well, that uh, since the uh, national interests of the three countries mm -hmm. are not always in line, mm -hmm. and of course there are ups and downs uh, mm -hmm. among uh, each other, mm -hmm. but the current uh, relations between Taiwan and the United States has so it's always been the basic the mm -hmm. basics are always very so good. So the fundamentals it, are very good in general. The fundamentals have al always been very good, especially in the area of security cooperation. Mm -hmm. And as a former uh, representative of Taiwan to the United States, I can tell you in a very honest way that in the last eight years, the security cooperation in between Taiwan and the United States have made the greatest effort and greatest progress mm -hmm. in the, the past three, four decades. Mm -hmm. And with the uh, uh, inauguration of President Ma in mm -hmm. May, Mm -hmm. And what do you think about the security cooperation between the U.S. and Taiwan? Because there have been discussions about the unspecumented projects, mm -hmm. and, and there are different views about that. What's your take on that? Well, I think the uh, current uh, security cooperation between Taiwan and the United States is still good. Mm -hmm. But uh, some people uh, started to doubt whether uh, Taiwan government, the current government of Taiwan, uh, is sincere and is determined to uh, pursue its own national security. Mm -hmm. uh, the reason is because in the last two, three years, uh, some of the KMT members now uh, very high up in the government mm -hmm. are leading an effort to block the uh, procurement budget from being passed by our parliament. Mm -hmm. And I think that kind of uh, image is still uh, very fresh mm -hmm. among some of our international friends. Mm -hmm. And therefore, it takes time for our international friends to clear the doubt that the Taiwan government is not interested mm -hmm. in its own national security. Yeah. And uh, as I can see right now, mm -hmm. uh, the, the current government is still working on the military procurement. Yeah. And some of the uh, packages might likely to uh, proceed mm -hmm. uh, to go through the administrative uh, mm -hmm. procedures of the U.S. government, i.e., mm -hmm. uh, to send from the administrative side to the Congress the mm -hmm. notification of some of the programs. Mm -hmm. The Bush administration had already promised Taiwan you know, that yeah. it's likely to go ahead. Mm -hmm. But some of the new programs, such as F-16s or future procurement, mm -hmm. uh, such as Aegis, which are needed by Taiwan's national security, mm -hmm. may not go ahead. On the one hand, you know, it's because of those uh, old images, lingers, and mm -hmm. some of the statements by uh, the uh, senior uh, mm -hmm. officials in Taiwan uh, who were in opposition before and led a, 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 an effort to mm -hmm. block Taiwan's uh, national security. Yeah. So, you know, it takes time to uh, overcome these kinds of but images. But apparently our government has already begun to understand and aware, be aware of the concerns that the U.S. has now. And Speaker Wang, Wang Jinping, he mm -hmm. went to the States mm -hmm. and tried to ease some of the concerns. Mm -hmm. And he also assured our, our American friends that Taiwan will try to, uh, right, will try its best to buy the weapon we need. You were there at that time. That, did he carry the, the message to the United States? Yes. Uh, I think Speaker Wang uh, 
uh, made a tremendous effort in persuading the American uh, officials and the American friends who are in the Congress or in the think tanks or even in the uh, campaign camps mm -hmm. uh, that the security is needed by Taiwan. Yeah. And in order for Taiwan to be able to protect itself, we need the defense articles mm -hmm. to be preceded by the administration to send the notification to the Congress. Mm -hmm. And one of the things that I was very touched by uh, Speaker Wang's effort was that uh, he tried to convey the message to the uh, very senior level uh, officials in the Bush administration that you know some people say that since the two sides are engaged in negotiations with each other now and therefore mm -hmm. uh, military sale is going to upset that kind of uh, negotiation yeah. but Speaker Wang says otherwise. He say that a strong security of Taiwan is a good fundamental for Taiwan to go mm -hmm. ahead and mm -hmm. negotiate with China on the things that is needed for Taiwan. Mm -hmm. And therefore, we want the American friends to ignore the timing factor. Mm -hmm. you know, don't think about the timing factor, mm -hmm. uh, whether we are in negotiation process with China or not. We hope the United States can sell us the weapons that mm -hmm. we needed. That's the message by Speaker Wang. Mm. So apparently we had to negotiate out of strength, not out of fear, right? Exactly, mm -hmm. exactly. And I also feel that uh, any government uh, should take things in a very serious way, especially security, which concerns the survival mm -hmm. of the country. And for Taiwan, you know, we're facing strong challenges, security challenges from China. And China is a huge country and its military strength is increasing tremendously in the last decade or so. And anyone who is coming into the government needs to look at this seriously. Mm -hmm. And therefore, you can see that uh, when they were in a position, they might you know, think in a different way. But when they are in power, mm -hmm. they need to think about national security in a very serious manner. And that is exactly what I hope that the current government would do. But on the other hand, uh, the U.S. position is also very important. Yes. And apparently now the arms procurement package is in the executive branch. Mm -hmm. And how long does it take for the executive branch to send the bill and uh, waiting for approval by the Congress? Well, I think we are in a very narrow uh, time frame mm -hmm. for the administration to send the notification to the Congress because mm -hmm. uh, the Congress is facing re-election right. and therefore they uh, will reconvene uh, very shortly, mm -hmm. but uh, the session is going to end at the end of uh, the month and therefore we don't have a tremendous amount of time mm -hmm. for the process to uh, go slowly. Mm -hmm. uh, and therefore what we try to do is to urge the administration, to urge the Bush administration to send a notification as soon as possible. Mm -hmm. And we also talk to the uh, congressional leaders uh, that whenever they receive the notification from the they should go ahead and approve it as mm -hmm. soon as possible as yeah. well. We cannot afford to wait until next session mm -hmm. of the Congress. So do, do, do we get a positive response from the executive branch and also the uh, legislative branch? Uh, when Speaker Wong was in uh, Washington, D.C., that was the final week of yeah. my stay in Washington, D.C., and we spoke with uh, very senior level officials, either from the National Security Council or from the State Department or from the Pentagon. Uh, they don't say it in a very clear way mm -hmm. that when or how or you know how much they are going to send the uh, notification to the Congress, mm -hmm. but they told us that they understand the timing uh, you know issue that we are under time pressure, mm -hmm. and they will take that into consideration and that sounds to me as if they understand that uh, mm -hmm. you know the Congress will only be in session uh, for a brief period of time mm -hmm. and uh, it also sounds to me that uh, President Bush is going to go ahead with it after mm -hmm. his visit to Beijing uh, Olympic, yeah. for the Olympic opening but it's, it's over already the game is over the game is over and we're still waiting you know. we're still waiting and therefore I think uh, it's possible that the notification can go ahead at any time. And mm -hmm. as, uh, as far as I know, uh, there is a senior level uh, official from Taiwan visiting uh, Washington, D.C. right at this moment. And this has to be one of the top issues for mm -hmm. the two sides to discuss. But there are also rumors that, that the U.S. government may delay the process and not wait until the new president to send the notification or re 
re, you know, restart the negotiation with Taiwan and so on. Would that be the case? Well, it, it's hard to say because when uh, I was in Washington, D.C., never get a concrete answer from mm -hmm. any administration official at all. And when Speaker Wang was in uh, Washington, D.C., he never got any concrete what, what answer either. No. Uh, I guess uh, you know, the administration officials don't want to uh, let us have a, a, a specific uh, idea of when and how uh, the administration is going to go ahead with it. And, and things that I would worry uh, at this moment is that uh, the administration, if it still concerns about the attitude of China, okay. it may further delay the notification process, mm -hmm. or it may only approve some of the things that we requested, or you know, some of the seven items mm -hmm. that is waiting for notification to the Congress. Mm -hmm. And uh, you know, for Taiwan's national interest, we want the whole seven items to be passed to the mm -hmm. Congress for approval, and we don't want any more delay because that concerns Taiwan's security. And survive. But as you mentioned, that the U.S. may be very concerned about China's possible response to the arms, arms sales, mm -hmm. and China has made it very clearly that mm -hmm. they object, they oppose any arms sales from the U.S. to Taiwan. How can they reconcile the differences? Well, I think the uh, administration in the Washington D.C. Uh, is doing it right now that mm -hmm. uh, they're trying to divide in uh, the arms procurement into two parts. Mm -hmm. uh, the first part. Uh, is those packages that has already been uh, approved by the Bush administration very early on. You know, mm -hmm. For example, the pet trees, the mm -hmm. anti-missile system, mm -hmm. or the uh, submarine uh, study, uh, fa the phase one study mm -hmm. uh, project, yeah. or the uh, submarine launched harpoon missiles, mm -hmm. or Apache helicopters, or the upgrade of the E-2T radar mm -hmm. planes, mm -hmm. things like this. You know, these are being approved. And uh, I think it's not difficult for the Bush administration to persuade China that you know this is just the final process mm -hmm. of, you know, of of the whole procedure, yeah. and since it's already approved, there's no uh, big deal about it. But I think the difficulty is something that is new and that is not being approved by the Bush administration before. Mm -hmm. uh, for example, the F-16s and yeah. CND models. Mm -hmm. And as far as I know, the Bush administration doesn't seem to be willing to work on this issue. And therefore, it's going to be very difficult for us to see that uh, the Bush administration in its remaining term mm -hmm. will uh, approve the sale of F-16s to Taiwan. So we, it's very likely that we are not able to get the whole you know, package you know, mm -hmm. all six, seven items. That is uh, possible. Uh, there's already rumor that uh, the, the uh, helicopters uh, may not uh, be in uh, those seven uh, items that mm -hmm. it's going to be sent to the Congress. Mm -hmm. and, and, and as you mentioned earlier, that, that the U.S. now is in, in this election season, mm -hmm. you know, and the, the, the primary is over, and now it's a neck-to-neck -neck, uh, uh, campaigning competition right now. Mm -hmm. So when we come back, we'll talk about your, your views about these two candidates and whether there are differences between those two camps, mm -hmm. uh, China policy and also their uh, Taiwan policy. So stay with us. We'll be back after these messages.